boom. The bait of the day. Lunker City Sluggo, 6 inch. The original color, the spike hit shading that I did last week. I figured I would do a video today on how I rig these things up. So, are you ready to run and gun? It's time for blast off. Let's go. Hey guys, Todd here. Welcome back to Bass and 101, where I make fishing simple for everybody, at least the best I can anyway. I wanted to do a shout out to my boy Chris at Retro Banson, who just recently did a video on fishing a sluggo. Of course, now he was using the old black and blue type sluggo, which that color just continued, unfortunately. But I have two different ways that I rig them. And a lot of guys use different kind of hooks, EWGs, they use the round bend offsets, they use, you know, uh, the Shaughnessy style offsets, whatever they have. There are two different kind of hooks that I use on this bait. One of them is a 4 alt text pose hook that Lunker City offers. I like it because of this straight back. That body sits in there beautifully. That's an awesome hook. And the other one I use is from Arky. And this is a weighted hook in a four alt. A little bit of a straighter back to it right here, but I like where the weight is positioned. I'll show you that here in a minute. And of course, it's got this spike in the front right here that goes into it. So I'm going to tear one of these baits up here, rigging these things like this, but I got a worm welder, so I'll fix them back up. Now, number one about fishing a sluggo that I cannot emph uh, emphasize more, is that the word? I can't stress any harder. How about that? That's a little more redneck. Tie a loop knot. Don't run these baits way past the heads of these hooks because what's going to happen is you're going to tear that head up and you're going to cuss that bait. You buy these things, they ain't worth a crap because they won't stay on my hook. Well, no wonder you went past the eye of the hook. You're just going to tear the head up. All right, this ain't a Senko. So it's not the kind of the same thing. All right. I know Senkos, you can do that. And you can kind of get away with it because it's a little softer. But with these being a little bit stiffer, they get tore up a lot easier. So unless you invest in a lighter or a worm welder or maybe you got a, a Miller TIG machine back there or whatever in the back of your boat. Don't put those things over the eye of the hook. I've experimented with these baits. I've thrown all kinds of hooks. I've thrown, oh my gosh, all kinds of line. Knots, swivels, I mean, you name it. As long as you use a loop knot, you don't need a swivel. Because the trick to these baits is you don't overpower them. All right, this is not a Zoom Super Fluke. Nothing against Zoom Super Flukes. I've caught my share of bass on those too. But I like these better. Because these are more of a... I guess it's more of a subtle type approach with these baits. Now, Randy Blockett um, did a video on these uh, also last week, I believe. And he had a really cool tip. Because he fishes his with an exposed straight shank hook and tends to, to rig this thing slightly nose down so it dives down the water as you go. And that's a really cool trick. Um, I have hooks that I can do that with. However, I'm ten, I tend to be, a, a, I'm probably slower at fishing one than he is. So I tend to rig mine a little bit differently. Um, but 
I would love to try his version one day. I really would. That's a really cool way of doing it. But these are the two ways that I, I rig them right here. Now the first one, you'll have to forgive me, I gotta put my spectacles on. I'm getting a little hard to see in my old age, can you tell? What'd you say? What? Oh. Anyway, first thing I do very carefully, I whip this the back side of that hook. Don't hook yourself in the lip because that doesn't feel good not that I've ever done it or anything. So it's going to make it slide in better. Now, with these, I'm doing Lucker City hooks, okay? So EWG is a little bit different, and I'm not a big fan of an EWG on these. I'm really not because it's just way too rounded back here. It's, you're, you're having to babysit how it goes in this thing. I, don't, I really don't like that too much. So we're gonna go in, and basically I'm gonna go to the barb. Right there. I just buried the barb. The reason is, is because of the size of this. I wanna stay in front of it, right behind that eye right there, okay? So I'm gonna come out. Like I said, I've already looked this, which helps it to slide forward. And there you go, you see that? Perfect. And then basically, you just kind of, like you're doing other soft plastic, you just kind of look, see where it lays. Just like that. And with these hooks, the cool thing is, you can go straight up at a 90 degree angle. And bam, there's your deal. And all you gotta do is barely hug that thing in there. Look at that baby. Straight as an arrow, and anything that hits that sucker, doink, there's the hook. If you're fishing open water, the cool thing is you can still fish it just like that with the exposed hook if you're fishing open water. And it hasn't changed this bait at all. It's still straight as an air. This is not going to twist your line. And again, I use a four alt because it puts it right in front of that egg sack. And because, and I remember these are the ones I bowled, if you've been watching. Look how much action that thing has. Just with that slight bowl. So that's that way I throw it. That's most of the time that's how I throw this bait. Now, let me explain this deal right here. Now this is an Arky hook. You can use other hooks, VMC, you know, whatever. But it needs to have the weight way back here. And I'm gonna show you here in a second why. And again, I also tie a loop knot on this as well. I don't I don't mess around with straight straight up knots. I don't like this bait on straight up knots. The reason is is because as you're twitching it, it constantly wants to go one direction. I have tried, oh my gosh, I've tried other hooks, I've tried other lines, I've tried you know rod lengths, I've tried everything, man. And it is just you catch it and it just goes in that one direction or it goes the other direction. It doesn't have that, that walk the dog. It doesn't have it. But a loop knot does. So I've inserted the spike straight into that hook, as you can see. And now you see where this hook lays. About the same spot as the other one. So I will take this. And I'll actually point this back a little bit and come out. The reason is because the hook kind of comes back just a hair. But even when I come through it, look, that thing's dead straight. If I'm fishing open water, that'll work. But most of the time, this right here is either in really windy conditions or I'm fishing in brush. And I want this slug, look how straight that is. And I want this slug to go in the brush and then sink. But because I have this weight right here and not anywhere up here, this bait's going to fall like this. And it's going to have a very slight quiver to it as it falls because of the water pressure. The water pressure in these notches, because the weight is this far back and it's not doing a nosedive, it's doing just like this. It causes, just in this last two inches, this nice little quiver in that tail as it falls. And you twitch it back up, let it come over another brush, 
Let it fall horizontally and just look towards like that. That's awesome. So those are the two ways I do a Slego. And um, I mean, there's there's other ways. That's actually not too bad. I actually survived pretty good head-wise. That actually did pretty good. Um, again, there's the one I shaded. Isn't she beautiful? But that's how I do it, guys. I do it with these two hooks. I do the Lunker City new text pose hook. And if you want to look this one up, this is the Arky. You can go on Arky's website and find these hooks. Just go in the terminal section. You find these hooks. I give you a link, but you know, I, I we have a lot going on here as far as our videos, different videos we have going on. So kind of trying to find a link is kind of hard to do. Just go into Arky's website and just look these up in terminal. So that's what that is. Those are the two I throw, or any kind of hook that you can find like this. It's got the weight way back here. That's what you want. These are eighth ounce. That's just, that's the most I'll use. Eighth ounce. Use anything else? I think it kills that that lower. As far as action, it kills it. So I'm gonna take these off so I'll look smart again. Anyway, I hope these I hope this helps you out, guys. Because like I said, this is an awesome lure, and that's all I need. But the most important thing that I can tell you guys, tie a loop knot. You don't need a swivel. Even with this kind of hook right here, as long as you've got it rigged straight and you fish that slugger the way it's supposed to be fished, which is in a slower process, you don't sit there and make a sucker just twitch like a, like a, a, a Zoom Super Fluke. That's not what this lure is. So just keep it slow and moderate. You won't twist your line. If you do end up finding there's line twist, it's either your hook you're using, the way you're rigging it, or it could just be just, who knows? But if you start seeing line twist about a foot above this thing, eight to 10 inches or whatever, put you a small little swivel in there, like you would a super fluke. It'll take, you, it'll take care of your line twist situations. But personally, I don't have any issues with that. So that's just my deal with that, guys. I hope you enjoy this video. Make sure you click the subscribe button, tell your buddies about this. Hit the like button so we can get this thing going off. Um, there's been a few guys that's been on the, that's recently subscribed to the channel. Thanks guys, welcome aboard. I hope you enjoy this. I try to give the most simplest tips I can give that are just are honest and from the heart. I'm not going to tell you something that's a joke. I'm not going to tell you something that is going to sell a product or anything like that. I'm just going to give you my honest opinion about stuff. And, you know, I've been fishing these lures for years and years and years and years and years. And this is the best way I have found to throw them. This is right here. What is it? 5% of the time, 95% of the time. Just depends what situation you come into. So I definitely, I absolutely carry both. And this is the only color I throw, Alewife. If you want to dye it, you can dye it and change colors into different stuff. You can even change the belly to chartreuse if you want to, or blue, or uh, pink, or orange, or red, or I don't know, a kaleidoscope, whatever color you want to change it. So, as always, may the Father bless you and keep you in Yeshua's name. Tight lines to everybody and keep your lines wet. Go fishing every chance you get. Keep the ones you can use, throw the rest of them back. I prefer to throw them all back, but that's just me. And until next time, fish on.